US equities rally despite another big, big, big increase in US weekly initial jobless claims data. So why are US equities moving higher despite basically unemployment in the US shooting higher? Uh, it's an odd one, right? Well, basically, um, today's data showed that in the last week, for roughly 4.4 million Americans applied for unemployment benefits for the first time. A big number, I know. By historical standards, I think before the coronavirus economic crisis, uh, the record the record spike in weekly initial jobless claims was only about 600,000, and that was back in like the 80s or something. So this week's number is still about six times higher than the historical record. So how on earth can equities be rallying? Well, this week's number, 4.4 million, is also the fourth consecutive decrease in the uh, you know the number of new Americans applying for initial jobless claims or for unemployment benefits because remember it peaked a couple of weeks ago four weeks ago to be precise at 6.6 .6 million and it's been coming down ever since so it looks like the market has kind of breathed a bit of a sigh of relief okay the worst of the economic deterioration on a weekly basis anyway appears to be behind us we're still getting worse because more people are still losing their jobs, but the rate at which we're getting worse appears to be slowing down. So it's almost like markets might be look, looking at this data and using it as evidence that you know there's light at the end of the tunnel. Um, because remember, there's also a lot of talk at the moment about economic reopening. A lot of uh, politicians all over the world, but definitely in the US, keen to reopen their economies because they're looking at this jobless data and they're thinking, Coronavirus is terrible and it is killing a lot of people, but if you cause massive, massive, a massive economic crisis that causes huge deprivation and poverty and, and financial problems, are you actually going to end up inadvertently causing more damage than, you know, the damage that you avoid by having, by continuing the lockdowns? So there's a big, there, there is a lot of people thinking about reopening and what are you going to need to see to see reopening? You're going to need to see the increase in coronavirus numbers decreasing. And generally, we have seen numbers all over the world and in the US stabilize. So there's that light, light at the end of the tunnel mentality going on. But to be honest, guys, it is a bit crazy, isn't it, really? To see numbers like 4.4 million, to see stocks rallying. I saw a crazy statistic that at the rate that we're going, by the end of this month, because you know there's only a week and a half left, by the end of this month, one half, more than one half, of all of the working age Americans may be out of work. That was something that ING posted. The explanation is just below in the blog if you want to check it out. But basically, um, the unemployment rate looks like by the end of April it could reach somewhere near 20%. But then you've also got to take into account the participation rate because there's a lot of people of working age who don't work. Perhaps they're students, perhaps they retired early, perhaps they are sick, perhaps they are they just you know stay at home and don't want to work, don't need to work. But anyway, the fact that the number of people in work could be less than 50% of the working age population is a staggering statistic. It's just Wow, it's not good. And the fact that equities are rallying in this economic environment off of data like this, it's crazy, it's crazy. But guys, you gotta understand that markets work how they work. You gotta let go of your own prejudgments. So we're gonna be all over these themes going forward, as we always are. Um, check out our memberships. That is pretty much it from me for now, and I will see you in the next one.